Michigan replay. The Wolverines and Florida State Seminoles did battle on Saturday, and it was 51-31, 82 points scored. And the sad part is, Michigan had the 31, Florida State had the 51. Uh, but that is one great football team that you played on Saturday. Well, I really have to say, Jim, I don't know that I've seen a better football team come into our stadium and play. And, and I think at times we help make them a little bit better than they were. But they are a fine team. We've got an excellent quarterback, a lot of skill, and great speed. Great speed. Maybe that was the biggest difference in the game, do you think? Well, I think it was, and particularly on defense where they could get off their blocks at times when, when I, I think we should have blocked them a little better. The, the big disappointment in the game, and, and you want to play well, you want to do good against number one, you want to beat them. And, and you got opportunities which we should have capitalized on, but basically we didn't block and we didn't tackle. You can't be the great team doing that. You've got to be superb at times. And some of it was their great ability. Amp Lee had a, a super day, and Weldon was as good a quarterback that particular day as I've seen. And the other thing you can't do is turn the ball over, and Michigan did. Right. And, you know, you start out the game, you throw an interception, they take it back for a touchdown. And yet we came right back and scored. And we had some opportunities we didn't capitalize on. But I'll tell you one thing. If I knew at the beginning of the game that I was going to score 31 points, I'd have started. I knew I was going to win that game. I mean, and you can't give a team like that 51. And it's a, a real setback to our program. And now we've got to refocus and regroup. And, and we've got a tough opponent next week. No question it's a tough opponent next week. It may not be any tougher than what Michigan faced this week in Florida State. Don't go away. We'll be back and take a look at all 82 points when Michigan Replay continues. Changing your communication systems? Michigan Bell can get you... With 82 points scored, we'll get right to the highlights, and you don't want this to happen on your second play from scrimmage. No, that pass was really there. Uh, Elvis has to feel Buckley coming up there. He overplayed the play, gambled, and it worked out for him, and they take it in. Now, Elvis has got to feel that he can't throw that ball in a particular case. Gives them a 7 to nothing lead early, but on your next possession, you come right back in. And I thought this was a good indication that you, you know, didn't let that body. Right, they're, you know, powers for nine. Now we come back and Bernie Leggett on a fourth down. He, he, uh, fourth and two, we make it. Come right back here and, and uh, Elvis hits Desmond on an out cut. We're mixing up a little bit, Jim, and this is the kind of drive we want to have. 11 plays, two passes, and we go down and score a touchdown. We're using the clock. Here's a nice throw by uh, Elvis here and a nice diving catch by Desmond. But Elvis put that one on the money pretty well. That ties it up at 7-7. Seven, seven. But Florida State, the problem is, is they can score in a hurry, and you got a look at that early. Well, this was the problem, is every time they'd come back and they'd hit some big plays and scored fast on us. And, and Walden shouldn't get outside that No, right there, he just, he beat a contained guy with his quickness. And this is one of their trick plays, Jim, something I'd never seen before, where you throw back a screen with all the blockers out in front. We come up here, we knock the ball loose, but unfortunately, they recover. And, uh, you know, it, 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 that obviously makes it tough. And then the other trick play they then score Then we on. stop them, and then they fake a field goal, and the guy just uh, makes it over, and that was a good play. But had, that play we had worked on. Had you and, seen that play before? No, we'd never seen it, but we had worked on it in practice. And uh, it was one of those things. And you, you got to give them credit for executing, which they do so well. Now here Leggett gets 19. Elvis comes back and hits Yale Van Dyne for nine yards here in the scene. And again, we got the ball moving. For the most part, you're moving the football against them. Did you feel like, man, we just, you know, we got to get the defense kind of settled in, but we can move it against them so don't right. feel so and here's bad? the thing we wanted to do is dump the ball off a little bit and run it. But then we got to the point where we had long third downs and had to go back to pass and we didn't protect so well. Here J.D. just makes one, hits the crossbar here on a field goal, but makes it 13 to 10. But again, we ate up some clock and we're doing the things we want to do. And then you turn right around and in two plays they score. And Weldon again goes to the screen to Amp Lee, who had an outstanding day. Yeah. This guy's a fine he, back. He is a great back. There's no question about that. And we didn't tackle well. We made him look better than he was. Here he bounces to the outside. Breaks a tackle right there. He cuts back. We got two people uh, pursuing really too fast. He cuts back. Now that's lack of pursuit. You should have had other people there. And he goes in in two plays. So, you know, you're starting to answer and you get caught up in the thing that you gotta, you got to keep coming back at him. 
or you're going to be in trouble. And yet we're still, there's times where we're trying to possess the ball. That ended this first quarter. 19-10 was the score. They come back. Buckley, their fine return man, does a good job getting them field position. Right. They shouldn't have had this return, obviously. And then we had a couple returns. And then we have a personal foul there uh, hitting late. And, and that really helps them get down in there. And then they go and third and seven, they hit a tight end right down the middle for a touchdown. Tight end in three plays, they score. Yeah, tight end was open. Was there a mix-up in the coverage? Well, in that particular one, uh, I think the corner could have squeezed that more, and you just uh, there wasn't a big mix-up, but it should have been played better. There, it wasn't a man-to-man -man where somebody forgot somebody. You come back immediately and answer again to get yourself back Fake in the ball Fake the reverse, again. And, and Elvis really throws an excellent ball here, right on the money. And Desmond, of course, makes the good catch, and uh, that makes it 25 to 17. And, and, you know, it's putting us back in the game again, but they always appeared to answer here, particularly in the first half. This is the only time you stop them in the first half. Third and four, Morrison uh, gets a pickoff and uh, gets the ball down in good field position and gives us a scoring opportunity. You get down there close, now you're thinking like, hey, now we're starting to go. The defense playing a little Right, tougher. defense did it. We, we, again, we, were, we had about six, eight plays here. Hit Bernie Leggett in the flat, he goes in. And at this time, uh, you know, it's getting close. There's 25 to 23. Went for two at this point. What's the reasoning behind it? Well, the, you go for two because you're only down two, Jim. So you might as well be down. Uh, to be down one is the same as to be down two. And so uh, you go for it. You know what I mean? Because we go by a chart, which is an accurate chart. It tells you when to go for two and when not to. They there, come. Yeah, there's, we had a man-to-man -man coverage. The big breakdown was the defender slipped fell and then amply gets a big 50-yard uh, gain there. They come right back, pitch it out to Lee, and, and here's what he's so good right, at, making yeah. people miss. Making people miss, and there's not enough people in the ball. When you're in a situation down there, you should have numbers of the ball because there's no one to defend the goal line. 31-23 at that point, and here comes Desmond, the first time they kicked the ball to him. Right, Desmond did a good job. He, he had a good day. He was slowed a little bit because we use him so much on so many different things, but uh, he had a good day for us. Two big returns, three catches, two touchdown passes. And uh, they, they took Desmond away, kind of, so he had to go away from him, and you went to Yale Van Dyne, who, who produced. Yeah, Yale makes some good catches. Here he makes a good diving catch on a good play-action pass for 16 yards. Then we come right back and hit uh, Yale for uh, 10 yards. We fumble the ball right there, but Walter Smith is coming out. And then right before half, this really hurt. This we had is a great the opportunity. key play of the game, in your opinion. Right. right. We had a great opportunity to, to uh, score here, and we just underthrew a pass. Probably should have thrown it out of the end zone, and the defender should have reacted a little better as far as knocking it down. 31-23 at half. You missed that opportunity right before half. Wouldn't you have kicked the field goal if the ball would have been incomplete? Probably would have kicked the field goal, yeah, at that point. And... At halftime, 31-23, it's not the game you expected to see happen. <laughs> not at all, Jim. <laughs> what were you honestly, thinking going to the locker room? I felt after 31-23, to honestly, I felt that game was long enough to darn near be over. It <laughs> seemed like a long football game. But uh, I wasn't, you know, I was displeased, particularly the way our defense was playing in the, and missing the tackles. I, I, you know, we spotted them seven points offensively. But it's uncharacteristic of a Michigan team to give up 28 points or 24 points to a, a team in the first half. We'll get back and we'll take a look at the second half of Michigan-Florida State when Michigan Replay continues right here. Once again, viewers... We go back immediately to the second half highlights and opening the second half, they were successful through the air. They opened the second half and looked like they want to grind it out on you. Yeah, they wanted to try to control the clock at this point. We stopped them a couple times, I think, because of a not there. Lee got uh, 19 yards there. Then Bennett comes back on a 13-yarder. Then uh, Weldon goes back and hits Terrell for 15 yards on a second and 13. These are the things that kill you. It's second and 13. Make a guy miss right here, and they come up with the 15-yard gain. Big play by the defense. Yeah, this is a big play here because we caused a fumble. They were trying to reach out, put the ball across the goal line. Now, here's where the offense had to come out with something, and we didn't. They ganged up inside, and we came up a couple yards short, and we had to punt the football. They come right back and go to the air because 
Yeah, here's a great throw by getting hit, and then Terrell makes a great diving catch there to go up 37-23. Uh, you committed some linebackers to stop in the run in the second half, which was successful for some time. Right, and as long as they were, didn't come out throwing sometimes, we're in good shape here. There's a, a good rush by a linebacker, tipped the ball, and then uh, uh, Dwayne Ware comes and picks it, uh, picks it off. Thing here, and then we try a reverse pass here, and I knew when we got this field position, I wanted to try this because of really what I'm thinking, and it ends up to be a disaster because they picked the ball off. But I know even if that's incomplete there, or Desmond doesn't make a great catch, I got three downs to try to get a first down, and I was waiting for that field position, and the whole thing honestly backfired on us. Well, the score at that time was 37-23. Uh, you still defensively are able to do some things, and you come back and have the opportunity moving into the fourth quarter. On fourth and six, you go for it here, but you just can't get it done. Yeah, we got a little pressure there. Desmond got hammered in, and it was an open corner, as you see there. They walled Desmond off, and he couldn't get to it. Probably the option we should have taken on that is to come underneath there. Then we get a punt, and we get a good field position here again because Desmond grabs the punt and brings it back. You thought he was going to go the distance. Yeah, I, I thought he was right here. He was slow. He hesitated right here, but normally he accelerates right through that hole. And we had used him on a lot of plays, and he covered a lot of miles today, and I think he was a little tired. Type. Another big disappointment. Right, fourth and one right here, and we got an opportunity to pick up a first down, which we did. Uh, a very similar situation to that when we dove Bernie in there and we got the first down, but we allowed too much penetration. And this is a huge play. Third and nine, you almost got him tackled, and then he comes out of here with all kinds of time. Right. Just stands there, throws one up. He wasn't even throwing to Bennett there, but Bennett come back in front of uh, the wide receiver to make the, the catch. Probably either one of them would have caught the ball, but that was a... That play shouldn't happen in that situation when we had a chance to get out of things. And once again, the tight end wide open down the sideline. Jim, and, and that's that's just poor pass rush there. The coverage wasn't any good, but it was poor pass rush. Then they go for it on fourth and two. We about get him sacked, and a tight end gets loose in the, the uh, end zone. And right there, we're playing heavy defense to stop the run, which I was in favor of. And we should have sacked him there, and then uh, we didn't get our safety over to make the play. 44-23 at that point, uh, looks grim, and yet here comes Bernie Leggett with a short kick, comes back, and, you know, Elvis starts to click on some passes. Yeah, right. Here he hits, uh, I think this is Yale Van Dyne, he hits him across the middle for about nine yards. But now we're in a pattern where we got to throw all the time, and we'd like to do some running here. Here we hit uh, uh, Ricky Powers on a screen pass for 12 yards. Then we come right back and hit Yale on a 19-yarder for a touchdown. Hit him on a blitz here. Guy uh, misses a tackle, and Yale goes in standing up. And at that point, there's still some time left. 44-23, uh, uh, you know, maybe some hope. You go for two points. All right, we go for two points here. Elvis dies into the end zone. Uh, has an opening up our sees it takes the ball in the end zone so the two-point conversion work come back with the onside kick it and you're making a run at it oh still. yeah you JD, know you're not you're not feeling like it's over no it's 44 to 31 we know we got to have some big breaks here and we get one right here maloney recovers an onside kick which carlson kicked extremely well and then we go to work and here elvis uh, hits a big one to waller smith over the middle waller jumps up makes a nice catch for about 16 yards and then uh, here it's third and 25, which we get just too much pressure. Our pass rush, and we couldn't get our receivers open, and Elvis on fourth down tries to make a play, and it ends up in an embarrassing situation here because they have a lineman running in. You can somewhat see there, Jim, you got to try to make a play on fourth down or the thing's over, and you took too big of a gamble there. 51-31 the final of. What's the feeling after this game? The feeling of the kids, your feeling? I mean, you said it was a setback for the program. You know, some people in the parking lot after the game Saturday telling me what an embarrassment. What the, I don't think it was an embarrassment at all. That's a good team. You played them tough, turned the ball over. There were some extenuating circumstances. This is not a bad Michigan football team. No, I don't believe that at all. I think we're a good Michigan football team. I'm disappointed in the way uh, the performance of a couple people. A uh, few people, really, and as a team in, in many respects. But yet there were some good hard hits out there there were some great efforts now we got to be a team that can bounce back it's not going to be easy to bounce back football is a tough game we got to play it that way if we're going to be good we have to learn from every situation we can uh, we got a lot of opportunity to have a good year but we got one of the greatest tasks that we're going to have this year this game coming up this saturday means a lot more to us than the florida state game and i would like to have won them all myself but uh, at the same time i know the importance of this game 
and yet Iowa is an excellent football team, and it's going to be tough in Iowa City, so we've got to buckle it up and get after it. The one thing we're not going to do is feel sorry for ourselves. And that's probably the best 